Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Kristen and today I'm going to show you why you need to visit the Black Forest and some of the top things you absolutely do not want to miss. After we explored Nuremberg, we headed down to Germany's famous Black Forest. It's located in the southwest corner of Germany and expands about 6,000 square kilometers. And for my American friends, that's about 2,300 square miles. What excited me most about visiting this magical area was the legends. It is said that its name comes from the fact that the thick forest canopy in some areas blocks most of the sun, so much so that it has been said to be the inspiration for many of the Grimm Brothers stories, such as Hansel and Gretel, Snow White, and Rapunzel. Don't let this fool you, the Black Forest attracts adventure enthusiasts year-round with its authentic German villages and endless things to do. Today, I'll show you my top seven things to do when visiting Germany's Black Forest. First up on the list lies in the northwest corner in the famous spa town of Baden-Baden. In the town of Baden-Baden, you can hike along what is known as the Panorama Trail. There are four stages that shower you with incredible views, breathtaking nature, and cultural sights. On stage one of the Panorama Trail, you can start from the town center and hike up to the Ho Baden Castle. The ancient ruins from the castle is free for visitors and allows you to explore all areas of the castle. including walking up to the top to get stunning views of the town of Baden-Baden and the surrounding forest. Don't miss viewing one of the largest wind harps in Europe that lies in the ruins of the Knights Hall in the old castle. You don't have to go far for the second thing on our list, which is riding the cable car up Merker Mountain. This is also on the Panorama Trail and can be visited in the same day as the castle ruins. This is Germany's longest cable car railway that transports hikers and nature lovers to the summit of the 668 meter high Merker Mountain. It's open daily from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it only costs six euros to take the round trip journey. Once you're at the top of Merker Mountain, you can dine in, in the restaurants, take in the views of the 23 meter high observation deck, or for the adventurous, you can even go paragliding. Third on our list is touring the ancient Roman bath ruins Take a step back in time 2,000 years ago to marvel at the Romans' brilliant design for ultimate relaxation. You'll get to see firsthand, but heads up, there are no photos or videography allowed in the site. Since we couldn't film the inside for you guys, here's our firsthand thoughts. All right, so we just finished the tour of the Roman bathhouse, and I don't know if you could tell, but it was really hot in there. We got these papers that kind of let you walk around see the different sites and um we use that to fan ourselves the entire time you can't take any pictures in there um you can kind of see it behind us but once you get in you can't take any photos there is this like listening device is that what you're just saying yeah there was a listening device that was really neat it's uh something that i don't see in the u.s or really anywhere else we've been so far that is in uh, multiple languages and you just put it up your ear and it tells you. Yep. Um, it may be common in Europe, but everywhere else we've been it is not. Yeah, you just click like whatever station you're at to see like the old Roman bathhouse. You click the number and it gives you like, you can pick stories from it or just uh, learning about it. So it was really cool. The one thing I will say is that it's not long enough. So it's only open for an hour. And we got there right on the hour and we didn't even finish. We had to walk through the rest of the parts because we were listening to every single number. We wanted to hear all the stories. So we got to the end, they're like, all right, you need to leave. And we were like, we have three more stations left. So we just kind of walked through and looked. Uh, definitely make sure you get here a little bit early and just be the first ones in so you can see the whole thing. It's worth it, come and see it. But uh, fly, uh, advice would be to uh, fly through it really quick, do all of the numbers. It's in a numbered system to show you each area and talk about it from basically the time it was built to exactly how it works. Mm -hmm. So go through all the numbers first and then and come back the and listen extras, to the stories. Don't which, just kind of work your way or you'll find it like us where we all leave this the last two portions really. Tomorrow we are gonna go to actually experience this and yes. go through the different baths. So. Now that you've toured the ancient Roman baths, get the full on experience by visiting the Friedrich Spa. This spa opened in 1877 and was considered the most modern bathhouse in Europe, and it still hasn't lost any of its charm or atmosphere. This experience provides an unforgettable look at what it's really like to bathe like the Romans did. For obvious reasons, we couldn't film inside the Roman baths. So it's uh, based on the setup of a 
very old Roman bath that uh, was here, which we toured yesterday. First things first, when you go in, you take off all your clothes and it's about a three hour ordeal. Yeah, and we both wore our bathing suits because we weren't sure and we got yeah. in there and Ryan's like, oh man. Oh man, there's <laughs> I was in my everywhere. Element. <laughs> yes, she was in her element. I eventually got in my element. Um, <laughs> but first you go and you clean off, mm -hmm. you put on some shoes, you get a nice uh, towel, you head straight to the dry sauna. There's three different levels of the dry sauna. Mm -hmm. So it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. Yeah, and then it gets in there where it's uh, like you can barely stay in there. Yeah. Then you go to a wet sauna. And same type of thing. You kind of like three start different with stations. The, the levels and then it gets hotter and hotter. And the last one, Ryan was like, they're only making it a minute. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> hot natured. So I was just drenched in sweat. Like, you really sweat out all the you. toxins in your body, which is really cool. It actually, you feel really nice at the end. But anyways, after that, then you go into plunge pools and then it slowly gets colder and colder until the very end. It's like an ice bath. It's it is ice bath. so cold. Like you can just plunge in and you get right back out. Yeah. And it's supposed to kind of close up your pores um, and kind of finish out the whole routine. Definitely recommend coming. It was very relaxing. It's going to take about three hours. You don't need a bathing suit. Don't bring a bathing suit. <laughs> we were like the only ones. <laughs> uh, we, we took them off, of course, but uh, we we're the only ones that brought one. And then at the end, once you finish it all, they have like a tea room where they have like free different kinds of really delicious tea and like these lounge chairs. You can bring a book or they have magazines and yep. you just relax. And it feels so nice after. And it they does. have this cool little um, balcony you can stand out so you can be in your towel and your robe and kind of look down on bottom bottom. I enjoyed yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Highly recommend if you're in the area, come and check it out. It was, uh, I think, 32 euros a person. So not too bad, especially for what you get. Uh, it's definitely worth it. All right, we are in the Black Forest at an Alpine roller coaster. You can kind of see it behind us, and we're about to go ride it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Next, we'll head down south within the Black Forest to a small town called Gutak to ride one of the most well-known Alpine coasters in Germany. With its 1,150 meter long route with weaves and spirals down the hillside, it's a blast no matter how old you are. We're going up! Look at how high this is, this is amazing! <laughs> this unique experience allows you to take in the breathtaking views of the Black Forest while having maximum fun. It even costs less than three euros to ride, making it perfect for any budget. <laughs> Not too far away is a local town called Triberg that is a must when visiting the Black Forest. The quaint town is the perfect place to unplug and relax in nature. You won't want to miss one of the highest waterfalls in Germany within the hiking trails of Triberg. While visiting the waterfalls, there are three optional hikes you can take. So today we're going to do the cultural trail. It takes about an hour and it goes through the forest, through the waterfalls, and through the town. If you take the cultural trail, you'll start by visiting the waterfall and end in the town center while visiting the cultural sites along the way. So it's really close. I mean, we just started and we can already see like the edge of the waterfall. Yeah. As soon as you pay for your tickets, it's probably 100 yards. I don't know if that would be in meters. Like, what? I'm not even going to guess. Well, I will guess. <laughs> 35. 100 yards equals 91.44 meters. Oh, who told you that? Siri. Siri. Way off. <laughs> We live, we live in America, so we don't have the, the same system. Staying on the red trail. The first part of this trail is a lot through the forest. Just a guy with his map. So the church you saw in the last clip is called Baroque Pilgrimage Church, Maria in Der Tann. This church is home to one of the most important Baroque altars in Southwest Germany. Last on our list, but certainly not least, is visiting the world's largest cuckoo clock. You can find this also in Triberg, where tourists from all over the world come to watch the clock go off on the hour. After visiting the largest cuckoo clock, make sure to check out all of the local handmade cuckoo clocks in the area. wondering this is the inner workings of a cuckoo clock. I imagine that's very simple to some engineers but to me it looks uh, very complex given how old this practice is. I'm sure there's some 
new ways of doing it. That's it for my top seven amazing things to do in the Black Forest. If you think I've missed something, make sure to comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you in the next one.